Hello, this is Dr. Eric Bricker and thank you for watching A Healthcare Z. Today's topic is cardiac stress tests explained. So if we work in healthcare, we have to understand what a cardiac stress test is because that word is thrown around so frequently and many people don't understand what it actually is. First of all, it evaluates for coronary heart disease or CHD. Sometimes it's referred to as CAD or coronary artery disease. It's essentially a narrowing or a blocking of the arteries of the heart itself that could potentially lead to a heart attack or congestive heart failure. There's a variety of heart diseases that are caused by that narrowing of the heart arteries. Okay, so stress tests have two parts. Guess what they are? The stress and the tests. So you can see here I have a chart and on the side here, we have the two different types of stresses. There is a treadmill stress where a person walks very vigorously on an inclined treadmill. And then there is an IV chemical stress where they inject either dobutamine or persantine or adenosine into the arm. And it causes the heart to beat real hard without the person having to exercise. Okay, then on the top here, we have the tests. So there's three different types of tests. It can be an EKG test where they put the electrodes on you and you see the squiggly lines to evaluate the heart. It can be an echocardiogram, which is an ultrasound probe um, and some jelly that's put on the chest so you can actually see a movie of the beating heart. And then finally, there is a nuclear test where they inject either technetium or thallium, which are radioactive materials into your bloodstream. And as they go through your heart, the uh, scanner picks up the radiation and is able to show them if there's any blockages within the heart. Now. So you can see here, when you do the permutations and combination of the stresses with the tests, you have a potential for a total of one, two, three, four, five, six combinations. But they don't do all six combinations. But here are the most frequent combinations that they do do. First up, the treadmill EKG is the least expensive at about $250 for a commercial allowed amount for both the physician fee and the facility fee. Next, we have the treadmill echocardiogram, which is more expensive, about $500. And both the treadmill EKG and the treadmill echo, they can be done in the doctor's office. Now, it's actually pretty hard to go really fast on a treadmill and then jump over to the echo table. Like, I've seen it done before. It's pretty awkward. So a lot of times, that what they'll do is they'll use the IV chemical stress with the echocardiogram test. That is more expensive. It tends to be around uh, $1,500 to $2,000 for the test. And then, actually the most common one of all is the nuclear stress test, where, and again, that's typically done not on a treadmill, it's typically done with an IV chemical to stress the heart, and then they're also injecting the radioactive uh, material. Now, let's go through the frequencies of these tests, okay? So, for the population age 25 to 64, they actually looked at the frequencies of these stress tests, and they have gone up during uh, three percent during the study period which was uh, up in uh, 2005 to 2012. So what you have here is the working age population statistics. So again the most common one was the nuclear stress test at 1600 tests in their sample but that number had gone down by 15 percent over that seven year period of time. And the reason was because there was a big push by Medicare to have fewer stress tests because they thought they were doing too many. So as a result, and we didn't want to expose too many people to radiation. So there are, on a percentage basis, fewer uh, nuclear stress tests for the working age population than there used to be. But nuclear stress tests, are the most expensive stress tests, are still the most common. Next up, for the echo uh, stress test, there were 906 tests versus the 1600 tests. Okay, so it was about half as much, but it had increased in frequency 29%. And again, for the EKGs, there were 696 tests, again, about half as much as the nuclear stress tests, but their numbers had risen by 13%. So if we work in healthcare and we hear the word stress test thrown around, then we need to understand what it's done for, that there's multiple different types of them, and that the cost of those different types are very different. And that's my point for today. Thank you for watching A Healthcare Z.